Hello friends, hope all is well with you and your family. In this video, I'd like to share a little story that I read in a book by Simon Sinek. He narrated his own personal experience when he went on to a business trip to Florida and stayed in a hotel called Four Seasons. On that Sunday, uh, Simon was just relaxing on a seaside and uh, a staff member called Noah just walked up to him, greeted him. Uh, asked him how is he doing, how is the stay and you know is there anything that he can do for him and was offering some tips about the city and stuff like that. Simon found the conversation very friendly, very warm and he found a lot of excitement in Nova and he was wondering you know where is this guy getting his excitement from. Out of curiosity Simon just asked Nova, do you like your job? And without skipping a beat, Noah was like, I love my job. Do you understand the difference between liking and loving? If not, when your wife asks you next time, do you love me? Tell her that you like her a lot. And I'm sure she will ensure that no, you understand the difference. Anyway, uh, coming back to the story, Simon asked Noah, what specifically made you to say that you know you love your job the most? He said, here, I feel like I'm the boss. I'm the most valued person. I'm fully empowered to make every decision that gives the best in class experience for my customers. Throughout the day, managers would walk past me, ask me if I'm feeling okay, if I need any help to do my job better. And he said, it is not just my manager. And he said, everybody in this hotel behaves the way they do. He continued saying that he had profoundly a different experience in his previous job at Prestige. There he found his managers are always like, you know, there to question all the time you know, catch people when things go wrong and, you know, just reconcile the numbers. Noah is exactly the same human being. Yet, as customers who would have had profoundly a different experience with Noah at Four Seasons and a very different experience with Noah at the Prestige. Not because of this person, but the environment that he was asked to work in. Have you heard executives asking a question, how do we get the maximum amount of people? Such a flawed question, isn't it? The right question to ask is, what can we do to create an environment so that the people can be at the very natural best of themselves? If you get the environment right, you will have the people like Noah. If you get the environment wrong, you will still have the people like Noah but at prestige. You will have trusting teams when people feel it's safe. It's okay to be vulnerable among their own. It's okay to say that I don't know. It's okay to say that I'm sorry, I, I did something wrong. It's okay to ask for help, you know, without having any fear of, you know, humiliation or attribution. If team under your leadership is underperforming and not showing results, many times it may not be the skill issue. It may just be you. You just have not earned the trust of your team. Have you heard the famous quote that, in all my previous failed relationships, there is only one thing in common, and that is me. A commander in chief was once asked in an interview, who makes it to SEAL? You know, the US Navy SEAL, who is regarded as the best of the best of the best. He said, the guys with big muscles, you know, covered with tattoos, you know, showing off how strong they are. He said, none of them make it through. He said, all the screening leaders, you know, who just delegate stuff and do nothing by themselves. He said, none of them make it through. He said some of the guys who make it through are actually skinny and scrawny and you will see them shivering out of fear. He says, however, all guys who make it through, when they find themselves physically spent, emotionally spent, and nothing to give physically or emotionally, they're still able to find the energy somehow, somewhere, dig deep down to help another guy. They become seals. If you want to be an elite warrior, it's not about how strong you are. It's not about how fast you are. It's not about how smart you are. You know, you just really have to get better at finding ways to help a guy who is left to you and a guy who is right to you. You should be prepared to put your own life at risk to save the other. That is how you advance. If you are in leadership ranks, earn your trust before even you lead your team. Otherwise, you might have authority over your team but you are making it very difficult for yourself in achieving your mission. Thank you.